teachers are supposed to take care of our children when they're in school, but deputies say two teachers at the same middle school did exactly the opposite. Yes, they say two men took advantage of a young girl exchanging inappropriate pictures with her. Channel 9's Blaine Tollison spoke to her family. They're shocked to learn that two teachers are now charged in this. The family of the victim in this case told Channel 9 last month they were concerned about more adults being involved. Now the Rowan County Sheriff's Office has named two more adults who are facing charges in their investigation, including a middle school teacher. And the family told me today that that should trigger another investigation by the school district. Three men are facing charges for sex offenses involving a student at West Rowan Middle School. All of them are charged with exploitation of a minor and indecent liberties with a child. Justin Avery and Ethan Gross were teachers at the school. A family member of the victim who we're not identifying told me over the phone they're angry but glad something is being done. But we also feel a little bit more um, relief um, to know that the truth is coming out now. Um, and they're doing everything they can to get justice. Rowan County Sheriff's detectives say they found out both Avery and Gross exchanged sexually explicit images with the teen through social media apps. The 14-year-old's family told me they think it began a year ago. School is supposed to be a place where you can learn, not a place where you're manipulated and your life is basically being taken from you. I feel as if the whole school needs to be under investigation. Detectives haven't said why they're also charging Donovan Hernandez but say he is not associated with Rowan Salisbury schools. The family says he is someone the victim knows. We found all of this stuff um, through the phone, um, through VIA messages and Snapchat. The family says the victim didn't have a phone of her own, but got access to one. They say she is getting therapy and they hope their family gets justice. Justice will be served. If that means having to miss work, um, quit my job, um, whatever. Whatever the case may be, um, we will make sure justice is served. So far, the Rowan County Sheriff's Office hasn't said if there are additional victims or suspects in this case. Back to you. And we have called and emailed the Rowan Salisbury School District today to try to find out the status of both of those teachers and what, if any, action the district is taking tonight. We are still waiting to hear back. We'll let you know when we get some information.